Uh, good morning, everyone. This is John Thomas, the Mad Hedge Fund Trader, signing in early. Uh, you'll see a question box on your right. Just type in your first name uh, and where you're from so I can say hello and also find out if you can hear me. Uh, I already see a uh, bonjour, John, from somewhere French speaking. Are you coming in from France? Uh, uh canada or somewhere in africa okay here's a bunch of people i see uh trung vu from seattle i see nigel in sydney uh and uh bonjour john is from montreal i where i actually worked in 1967 in a hamburger stand uh right in front of the russian pavilion and uh I got paid a dollar an hour for that job, plus all the hamburgers I could eat. Turns out I could only eat about 20 a day. I think the company lost money on me. I see uh, Gerald in Connecticut, Scott in the Philippines. Scott, I hope you can make it to the uh, Philippines Manila Luncheon on June 30th, which is in our store right now. See Mike in Colorado and uh, Marie and Jack are on Luzon in the Philippines. Uh, I can't remember if that's the main island where Manila is or not, uh, but I'll find out soon. And uh, let's see, we have a customer calling the top of the bond market for the year. That may well be. We have Chris from Houston, Texas, Pear from Copenhagen, Denmark, uh, Jim from across the bay in Sunnyvale, California, uh, Patrick in New York. We have uh, Marie from Ashland, Oregon. I bet you must be a real Shakespeare fanatic. Uh, Patrick in New York. George in Fremont, California. You must be living in the shadow of the Tesla factory or working for Tesla. We have a Jeff in Massachusetts. Uh, we still have a bunch of people coming in here. And it looks like we're probably going to max out the software. <coughs> uh for uh, today's webinar uh we have uh juan in miami beach florida we have george in galveston texas uh we have deepak from virginia keep them coming okay let me get more names in here and da, 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 da. gotta get this working Looks like I need more batteries for my trackpad. Okay, a bunch more names pop in. Uh, Tom from Evergreen, Colorado. And we have Debbie from good old San Diego, California. I bet you're having a gorgeous day down there. Surf's up. Okay, we'll just allow a few more minutes for more people to come in. Uh, we have Robert from Bangor, Maine, just signed in. Uh, Simone from uh, Basel, Switzerland, one of my regular long-term customers, and uh, lots of French speakers today for some reason. Maybe it's that uh, Google, uh, what's it called, Google uh, language app, which about a third of our readers uh, use Google app to convert uh, the newsletter into about 50 different languages every day, okay? Arthur from Newport Beach, California. Yeah, I used to spend my summers there. That's where John Wayne used to live, Arthur. Uh, okay, I think we're well on the road, so let me get started with the webinar. And this could be a little bit unusual uh, in format today because some of you have been following me for a very long time, and you have no idea who I am. So I'm going to tell you a little bit, a little bit about myself a little bit about my dark and mysterious past. Uh, first of all, why are you listening to this webinar today? Well, I have 50 years of experience in the global financial markets, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo, Japan, later the White House under Ronald Reagan. Then I spent 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley. Then a little brief timeout as a Marine combat pilot uh, in Desert Storm. Yes, you can get drafted when you're 40 years old uh, if you are a commercial pilot. That is a lifetime 
subject to draft. Ten years running, the first international dedicated hedge fund, boy, that seems like a million years ago. Five years fracking for natural gas in Texas, and I still have oil under my fingernails from that little experience. And now it's 12 years running the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of a few founders of the modern hedge fund industry who is still working. Now, uh, you are getting today's presentation because you receive the Mad Hedge Hot Tips every day, which I get up every morning at five in the morning and write with great pleasure. I scan about a thousand headlines every morning uh, from multiple news services before. I send this out every day, and the goal here is to send you the five most important things happening that will influence the market that day. Some days there are no things influencing the market, so I give you big, deep background opinions or funny stories or whatever, uh, but that's the, basically the logic behind Mad Hedge Hot Tips, and it is a wildly popular newsletter. Uh, I come from the all-American family. That's my grandfather's family up there who had a vegetable farm in West Los Angeles, uh, now commonly known as Wilshire Boulevard. We have a long history of making great real estate investments in our family. Uh, there's me, the oldest of seven children, uh, Little League Baseball, Boy Scouts. I made Eagle Scout when I was 15. Uh, and uh, I was a lucky person to be growing up in the 1950s during America's golden age. Uh, hint, hint, there is another golden age right ahead of us, but I'll talk about that later. Uh, wasn't much to do in California in the 50s except go hunting. Uh, boy, look at my tennis shoes there. I would never wear those today. No good against ra rattlesnakes. There's my dog, uh, a Weimaraner brought back from Germany after World War II, great hunting dog. And uh, things were pretty boring, so I took a job delivering newspapers by bicycle. Uh, there's one of the first papers I delivered, Kennedy assassination, 1963. Uh, and by the age of uh, 16, I'd saved enough money to buy a round trip ticket to Europe. So I spent the next two summers hitchhiking around Europe uh, boy, wish I had that waistline today. Uh, but yeah, that's me somewhere in southern France. And by the age of 17, I'd visited more than 15 countries, including several in North Africa and spoke four languages. Uh, uh, hint, hint, if your social life is totally dependent on your uh, language, you learn very quickly. It's a no-fail system. Uh, got a scholarship uh, to go to UCLA and uh, managed to graduate at the top of my class. Uh, got a free Mensa membership along the way. And that set me up for a nice little job at the nuclear test site in Nevada, uh, working for the Atomic Energy Commission. Studied uh, math and DNA research. And, um, you know, then the big thing was trying to maximize yield, except. Yield wasn't interest paid in those days. It was number of millions of Russians killed. Uh, however, due to the uh, SALT negotiations, uh, our nuclear testing was winding down, and I was looking for more exciting things to do. So I accepted a government job to do research, in quotes, <laughs> in Southeast Asia during the tail end of the Vietnam War. Along the way, I managed to fly airplanes uh, while being shot at and jump out of perfectly good airplanes with a parachute. Uh, this is how you do research <laughs> in a war zone, yes, with a machine gun in hand. That's a World War II Sten gun. Uh, that's me coming out of parachute school, uh, me with the Taiwanese army, and I kind of got around and uh, met interesting people. And at the end of this, I got a drawer full of medals, uh, and I thank you very much for your service, and that's about it. So. Um, uh, I, as the war wound down, I took a job working for the uh, Economist magazine as a foreign correspondent in Asia. And when the war slowed down, they decided, with a math background, I might be good at covering the stock market. So yes, 1976, enter the stock market. Uh, of course, as a correspondent, I got, got around. I basically was responsible for covering all of Asia. Uh, I was the first American correspondent to go into North Korea. That's me at the 
demilitarized zone, uh, covered China during the Cultural Revolution, and notice how thin I am there, and that is because there was a famine going on where 50 million people died, and uh, no amount of money could buy food of any kind. Uh, there is no substitute for food, so we all lost a lot of weight. Of course, I covered a lot of the old World War II bat battlegrounds. This is a 250-pound bomb I found on Saipan. And for fun, we used to light fire to these at night and then run like hell and wait for them to blow up. Yes, that's how boring you can get in the South Pacific uh, where there's nothing to do. Uh, there's my original pilot's license, uh, commercial pilot's license, which is way out of date now. They have a new one with Wilbur and Orville Wright on it. Uh, I figured out very quickly, you didn't have to be very smart to make money in the stock market. In fact, I saw average people or downright dummies making fortunes. So I thought, wow, I can do this. So I joined Morgan Stanley, set up their international equity department, and uh, proceeded to make fortunes for Morgan Stanley. In those days, there was a wild bull market going on in the Tokyo stock market. Uh, the Nikkei average went from 3,000 to 39,000 in about 10 years, and we were trading instruments with six to one leverage on the upside. So uh, at the peak, I accounted for about 80% of all Morgan Stanley equity division profits. Turned out that math thing came in handy uh, when uh, creating complex derivatives, which gave you tons of upside. Uh, after that, I spent 10 years uh, running my own hedge fund. After all, why be right on the market but only get 2% of your profits? Set your own hedge fund up, you get 100% of your own profits. And so I rapidly became the top performing hedge fund in the world for a couple of years. I actually got an award for this, uh, number one out of 115 funds. That's because in 1992, there were only 115 hedge funds in existence. Uh, compared to 10,000 now. Got my SEC registration, my commodities registration, and it was off to the races. Uh, of course, uh, then the money really started to pour in. It's an understatement to say that when your income goes from the thousands to the tens of millions, it did have a really big impact on your lifestyle. Sort of like taking uh, dream vacations, uh, fishing for Marlin, flying around Europe in your own plane, buying the latest cars, or entering your 1925 Rolls Royce into the Pebble Beach car show. So I uh, did get around a lot. Uh, I then started the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader, really just as a retirement gig, but then it uh, blew up to enormous promotion, promotions. Uh, you know, at one point we took in $12 million in subscription in three months. Uh, and of course, being right about the market most of the time helps a lot. We have averaged 33.83% on our trade alert service for the last nine years. Um, and uh, I continue to this day, except I'm getting better at it. I don't publish my own research that's more than two years old because it's not good enough. The writing is not good enough. So uh, anyway, that is how I got into this business. Uh, I now spend my days pursuing my first love, that is finding winning trade alerts. Love the thrill of the kill, uh, except uh, now I do it from my three mansions around the world in San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, and Zermatt, Switzerland. I've quit turning uh, millionaires into billionaires. There's far more satisfaction leveling the playing field for the average guy and teaching them how to trade, and that includes you. If I can take a 50,000 account and turn it into 500,000 in a couple of years, that gives me more job satisfaction than I could ever do anywhere. In any case, I'm terrible, terrible at golf, so a conventional retirement won't work for me. By the way, I do manage, I'm, a, I'm a, an aggressive, ambitious, long distance backpacker, and I usually snowshoe around Lake Tahoe uh, once every winter, and that is a 160 mile trip. Uh, however, every silver lining has a cloud. Um, I made 10.5 million trading last year for my own account, and the taxes due on that are very high. I paid 3.8 million in taxes last year. Uh, that's why I'm so interested in what's going on in Washington. It's my money they're spending. In fact, that's enough to buy about one M1 tank for the Marine Corps. 
Um, in my free time on the weekends, I fly antique aircraft. Uh, there is a 1932 Tiger Moth. Notice of the design flaws, gas tank right over your head and no brakes. That's why you can only land on grass. Uh, that is a 1943 uh, Boeing Stearman, same plane right there. And that's a 1948 uh, British uh, Chipmunk. Boy, what a combat aircraft name, the Chipmunk. <laughs> anyway, I got my aerobatic certificate in that plane, so it uh, was a great thing to fly. If you see someone flying loops overhead in San Francisco or London, uh, it's probably me. Of course, the ultimate luxury and the only real value of wealth is to have the ability to give it away to those who need it. So a portion of my subscription money uh, every year goes to wounded warriors. I do uh, grief counseling for the Marine Corps because I was one of the people who made it back uh, from Desert Storm and all the widows and orphans really want to do is just hold the hand of someone who did make it back. Uh, also, when we had wildfires in California, I did have the luxury of driving up to Santa Rosa with $10,000 worth of Target gift cards and then just giving them to the evacuation centers uh, to be distributed to people who lost absolutely everything. It was a terrifying fire. People got a bang on the door at midnight from the police and were given 30 seconds to get out. Uh, a lot of people were showing up at these centers in their pajamas. So uh, that is the, the ultimate luxury of having a lot of money to spend. I gain all of this financial independence for life, and so can you. All of this can be yours. Discover how to make thousands of dollars a year in extra income. Uh, go from a complete beginner to seasoned pro in weeks. Learn how to quit your day job and trade for a living full time. We have hundreds of people doing that uh, right now, and you can see the impact on the market from my trade alerts. Uh, trade from anywhere, anytime, and that's me trading from Morocco in North Africa. No problem. In fact, a lot of these really remote countries have better broadband than we do because they came later to the game. Uh, supplement your retirement income with the satisfaction of booking winning trades by the hundreds. And we send out about 200 trade alerts a year with a success rate of anywhere from 80 to 90%. The harsh truth, uh, why you really need my help, and believe me, you need it, the majority of individual traders lose money. They lack the correct training and discipline to succeed. Most broker research suffers from grievous conflict of interest. As soon as a broker learns how markets work and learns how to make money, they move them into the in-house hedge fund. They're not going to waste a guy like that on customer communication. Uh, Wall Street is all about moving money from the uneducated to the educated. Simple solution to that is get educated and you can make money and it's really not all that hard. Uh, Fidelity did a 20 year study and learned their top performing investors were dead people. Yes, dead people don't sell. Good strategy to have during a 10 year bull market. Uh, far better than say talking to a Fidelity financial advisor. So. Uh, and that is the next to Pinocchio, the original Pinocchio, which comes from a folk tale in northern Italy. And they have souvenir shops there, which not, sell nothing but uh, Pinocchios. And let me see how the market's doing here. I'll take a quick break. Okay, we're still in business. You need a pro to guide you through the market maze. The market is not monolithic and 95% of it can be completely ignored. The trick is what to ignore and what to pay attention to. It's There's so much noise out there, uh, so much paid content. It's really hard to separate the wheat from the chaff. There are a few great sectors, a lot of awful ones. You can earn a 10 times return on the great sectors but get wiped out by the losers. Let a 50 year veteran like me steer you to safe waters. Let me sit next to you and guide your hand on every winning trade alert. By the way, there is a question box on the right. If you have any questions on any uh, asset classes or specific stocks, go ahead and see a lot more people have come in uh let's see <laughs> art is asking how would you like the chance of taking an account from zero to a million that would be the ultimate testimonial yes it would 
Hard to come back from zero. Uh, and Gary is asking about gold. Gold touched 1272. Now what? I think we're going to get a summer correction in the stock market, and gold's going to take off like a rocket and probably make it up to $1,400. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, this is one of the secrets of my success, the Mad Hedge Profit Predictor, my market timing index. It's an artificial intelligence-driven algorithm that analyzes 30 different economic, technical, and momentum-driven uh, indicators. You know, a lot of people never practice what they learned in college. I majored in math. I use math every second of every day, and this is a good example of that. Whenever my algorithm gets high, like over 80, that means it's time to sell short. Whenever it gets below 20, it means time to buy. And whenever you're in this area, usually the right thing to do is nothing. Let your shorts and longs run. So you may ask the question, why do you need an algorithm? Well, a lot of people don't even know what an algorithm is, but why use a toolbox missing its most important tool? Algorithms have become so dominant in the market, you should never trade without one. It does the work of a seasoned 100-man research department in seconds. It runs real time and optimizes returns with the addition of every new data point far faster than any human can. Imagine a trading strategy that upgrades itself 30 times a day. That's what my algorithm does. Don't go to a gunfight with a knife. If you are trading against algos alone, you will lose. Algorithms provide you with a defined systematic trading discipline that will enhance your trading profits. Uh, and this is not my boat, but I was just walking along the waterfront in Miami one day and I found this 100 foot yacht named Algorithm. Guess how he paid for his boat? Yeah, I'm not the only one uh, using algorithms. An awful lot of people do. Uh, this is the three year history of the market timing index. And you can see we get several round trips a year. Whenever we approach 80, you want to sell short. Whenever we get down to the low 20s, you want to buy, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. So there's a lot of work to do here. Uh, and also the algorithm tells you when to do nothing. And 80% of the time we are doing nothing because that is the best thing to do. Uh, if I analyze any new customer's performance, the biggest mistake they make is over trading. And you should never do that. The goal is to pay for your own yacht, not your broker's. Uh, here's a typical example of how we outperform the markets with our algorithm. Uh, in the past three years, the S&P 500 is up 59.44%. Uh, we are up 113.77% in our trade alert service. That is double the SPY performance with less volatility. Uh, during this time, the markets had drawdowns as much as 20%. We never drop uh, more than about 5%. So it's basically up sideways, up sideways, up sideways. And that is how a typical uh, hedge fund return looks like. And we are at an all-time high right now. A lot of people have made a lot of money over this service in a year. I really have been a millionaire factory uh, since 2008. Uh, my friend Bill, for example, was a struggling tobacco farmer in Virginia who wanted to supplement his fading agricultural income. I never uh, forget when I first met him at a strategy luncheon, he was wearing a plaid flannel shirt. Uh, you usually don't get that at investment conferences. However, after making $3.4 million with the Mad Hitch Fund Trader, he still farms, but now he's growing grapes for high-end wineries in Napa Valley and he paid cash for his vineyard. Oh, and by the way, the value of the vineyard has doubled since he bought it also. So he's pretty happy uh, with the service. Uh, Philip is another guy who's tired of working in the boom and bust of the oil and gas industry in Texas. After doubling his money every year for several years, he now earns a generous full-time living as a trader. Notice he lost his tan uh, indoor all day in front of a screen. You don't get sunburned like you used to taking care of an oil well. Uh, and he says he's never lost any money on one of my trades. Um, I lose money on some of my trades sometimes, so I'd be careful about that. Um, and, uh, okay, just screening the questions here. Uh, here's one from uh, Bill in Portland, Oregon. Can we talk to you directly? Uh, yes, Bill. I spend part of every day calling customers, finding out how to improve the service. Uh, we have bi-weekly webinars like this one. You can 
put in a question in the question box at any time. And uh, uh, or you can email me and I answer all my emails every day because they often give me good trading ideas. Uh, moving forward, Jackie was an Australian hospital administrator who turned $50,000 into $2 million with the help of me and became a major player in technology stocks. She said at one point she was making so much money so fast her husband wouldn't let her leave her, her bedroom where the computer was. Uh, he used to, to shove dinners uh, under the door. Uh, and she really is one of my top performers over the last decade. She retired now, doesn't trade anymore, spends all of her time uh, cruising around the world. And she sent me this picture uh, from the Queen Mary II crossing the Atlantic. And she also was pretty happy with our trade alert service. Let me list the five surprises of 2019. And by the way, most of these have already happened. The other ones have yet to occur. Uh, the government shutdown ended in, uh, and the Fed made no move to raise interest rates. The Chinese trade war haven't, hasn't ended, but could in a matter of weeks. That'll be a huge positive impact on the market. Uh, U.S. made no move to impeach Trump focusing on domestic issues instead, and that is exactly what Pelosi uh, and Trump are doing, trying to come up with an infrastructure package, uh, and uh, Pelosi is heading off all attempts to impeach Trump because he says it's a waste of time. By the way, I'm meeting Nancy Pelosi at the end of the month, so I'll get more insights onto her views. Uh, Britain votes to rejoin Europe. I think that'll be the end of the Brexit saga. Britain will figure out that it's a financial suicide to leave Europe and they'll vote to stay in. Uh, Trump investigation concludes that he has an unpaid parking ticket from New York in 1974, and that's it. So no impeachments, no prosecutions, nothing <clears throat> to do there. After he becomes president, maybe a different story, but for now, it's not a market affecting issue. All of the above are hugely positive for risk taking in the market and did trigger a monster. 4,500 point stock market rally. Stocks, let's talk about stocks for a second. The bull market lives. Stocks uh, just broke out to new highs. Traders are focusing on low and falling interest rates as the sole driver of stock prices and ignoring everything else like the economy, earnings, and valuations. The investors flushed out during the December bottom are piling back into the top now. When they're done, it's over, and I bet some of you watching this webinar, that's exactly what you did. Analysts were looking for negative earnings growth in 2019, but are getting modest growth instead. Analysts panicked in December, excessively cut estimates to the bone. Now they're rising back up again, and the market's going to new highs. Trade war settlement is 95% in the market. It doesn't happen. The market will have a serious correction. Something will probably happen, and market will probably rally uh, 5% more this year, and after that, probably trade sideways. In a world of hurt, the U.S. is still the safest and highest returning place in the world to invest. And that, by the way, is a longhorn steel, a steer for those of you who are not from the West. This time, it's different. The return of quantitative easing is hugely positive for stocks. Fed announcement of no more interest rate hikes in 2019 is hugely positive. So is the end of its balance sheet unwind, uh, the so-called uh, quantitative tightening. And in the most recent Fed meeting, they said they're not going to wait till September to end the uh, uh, QT unwind. They're going to start doing it now. So that's another major positive for risk taking that people haven't really figured out or understood yet, but and will move to support the market in coming months. Don't see a crash happening in the markets, uh, maybe another five or 6% correction, uh, and then a grind up to new highs, and we could well be like that for the rest of the year. Uh, ending quantitative tightening will inject 2.7 trillion of cash into the US economy, and is the equivalent to two interest rate cuts. So even if they don't actually cut, they're sort of cutting through the back door by ending QT. Uh, when the world goes from QT to QE overnight, you go risk on. And what do you buy in a risk on environment? You buy big tech stocks. And we have been just killing it with our trade alerts in uh, technologies through our Mad Hedge technology letter. 
we have 11 out of 13 trade alerts there making money and the last two stopping at around cost. Trying to trade war settlement could be weeks off, but we'll pour gasoline on the fire. So this is what the smart money is doing now. Uh, it's focusing on the highest quality growth stocks with the best long-term earnings outlook, and that is big tech. Uh, hedging out downside risks with cheap put options, uh, bear ETFs, and uh, buying uh, the volatility index, the VIX. Uh, which has traded as low as 11 in the past week, and they're pouring into the major QE beneficiaries. And if you wonder why I'm in such a good mood in this picture, it's because I'm flying a P-51 Mustang, which was a World War II fighter plane. And if you don't know what a P-51 Mustang is, that is it. It's based in Florida, and it's an amazing thing to fly. It's kind of a cross between a jet engine and a piston plane with a 2,000 horsepower engine, uh, this thing can climb like there's no tomorrow. Uh, when I'm tired of flying my Mustang, and that can happen because G-forces can be rough on this old body, I go to England and I fly a Spitfire, uh, which you can rent for a mere $10,000 an hour, uh, and go fly along the White Cliffs Dover. And I've been doing that for years also, and that is also a blast. Uh, the final target for the 10-year bull market is approaching. I'm looking for 3,200 in the S&P 500 by the end of the year. We've already broken through that last peak there. Uh, so we've got maybe another 10% to go to get to the 3,200 high. Yes, that is what global excess liquidity uh, does. And that will probably continue as long as the current president is in office. And you can see where our algorithm is kicking in here. We were buying every one of these dips. We sold this peak back in um, uh, around the 2900 level in January, uh, bought the uh, December dip big time, went 100% invested there. Uh, and now we've been scaling out of our longs uh, over the past month. Uh, this is NASDAQ also, also a new high. Target there is 9,000, so maybe another 10% of upside there. Uh, this is why you need to be in big, big tech. And by the way, this gets back to my argument. You ignore 95% of the market. Uh, focus on 5% of the names, um, and that is big technology stocks. And by the way, tech stocks now are 26% of the total uh, market capitalization. So it's really like focusing on a quarter and ignoring the three quarters. Energy, there's a new bull market there since thanks to the strong economy and the uh, uh, Iran sanctions. China is the world's largest marginal buyer of new oil. They are no longer allowed to buy oil from Iran. They're scrambling around to get other sources and that is driving prices up. Uh, massive global uh, stimulus also is helping to push oil prices higher. Uh, US's infrastructure uh, constrained. So even though we have tons of gas and oil, turns out nobody wants an oil pipeline in their backyard. So it's very hard to expand the current system to get oil to the ports where it can be exported. Uh, Russia, uh, OPEC has reformed along a Saudi-Russian access, enabling OPEC more price control. And guess what OPEC wants prices to do? They want them to go up. Uh, U.S. is ending uh, oil exemptions for eight countries. Bottom line, buy the dips on oil, and it's already had a huge move this year. Uh, Chevron, uh, that's one of our favorite buys. Bought the dip back here in 2015, sold the peak beginning of last year, started buying again uh, here in December, and we expect Chevron to go a lot higher. And let me take a quick look here and see what other questions we have. Uh, there's a Tesla question I'll get to later. Uh, let's see, we have an oil question here uh somewhere do you think oil has peaked for the year or do we have more to go says george in houston texas any answer is we have more to go i think u.s could hit 70 or even 80 dollars a barrel sometime this year but the oil stocks are not participating very much uh for a number of reasons uh so i you know uh playing oil by buying the commodity outright uh through the uso and not uh, buying individual oil company stocks. Uh, here's the uh, WTIC, that's uh, West Texas Intermediate. 
looking for higher highs there. Uh, another commodity play like oil is copper. Any kind of China recovery, you also get a big recovery in copper. And you can see our algorithm bought it here in uh, 2016, got a big move, and we're now buying it again for another run to the highs. Foreign currencies, we think the dollars peaked out for the year. Uh, we had a big jump in the dollar because Europe and Japan started cutting interest rates a lot faster than us, uh, which made us the high yield play in the world. Uh, however, now that the Fed is turning dovish, I think uh, that is over for the time being. That is a big positive for weak dollar plays like gold, the Australian dollar, and emerging markets. And even the euro should do better in this situation. British pound will stage an enormous rally once Brexit is consigned to the dustbin of history. You could get uh, uh, the pound moving all the way from 125 up to 160, where it was before the Brexit vote passed. Massive Chinese economic stimulus is keeping the yuan high. And uh, even though Bitcoin has had an enormous move this year, I am staying away from it. I think it's a Ponzi scheme. And there are a million other Bitcoin sites where you can get vice. Better advice on how to lose money in Bitcoin. Uh, US dollar, that's the peak that happened uh, last week. And I think we're done for the year and we go down and test these lows. Uh, we got a buy in the dollar uh, last October. We've been staying long, but we're out of it now. We sold this last peak and are gonna stay flat on currencies for the time being. Emerging markets, another big beneficiary of a weak dollar play and you you see we're starting to get the beginnings of a major move here uh, on expected dollar weakness uh bonds the uh bear market is dead uh ultra dovish fed policy brings new life to bonds 10-year u.s treasury yields have already plunged down actually to 233 uh that's a one-year low U.S. government is about to double from $1 trillion to $2 trillion this year. Even in the final stages of liquidity-driven uh, bull market, you buy everything, including stocks and bonds, both of which have been going up so far for all of this year. This interest rate cycle peaked at 325 in September. The next stop is 132, and then zero if we go in, uh, into a recession. And that will be a great time to refinance your house. Uh, but only if you still have a job. If we get overnight rates at zero, you should be able to get uh, uh, five one arm interest rate mortgages at around 2%. So you wanna buy every dip uh, in the TLT. And for the short term, you also wanna be selling the rallies because we haven't made the big turn yet. Uh, here is the TLT. And this has been our most profitable trading vehicle uh, since the inception of the newsletter. Uh, we bought these dips here, bought this dip, and sold this top here. We bought the dip here. And in fact, we've made eight round trips in bonds so far in 2019. So that is a great market to be in. I bet a lot of you have never done a bond trade in your life. Turns out it's far easier to make money there than in the stock market. So 10-year uh, treasury yield hanging around 250 right now, headed to 137 in 2020 when we may get the beginnings of recession. And that is my initial downside target, 137 on the 10 year and then after that zero. So if something that goes from, you know, 320 to zero, is there a short selling opportunity in there somewhere? Uh, and of course the answer is yes, uh, quite a lot. And I urge you to get into that market. Precious metals, the ultimate hedge for everything. That's the Istanbul gold market. I tend to get around a lot. Uh, gold will break to new highs as investors look for risk off flight to safety hedges, especially if we get any kind of summer correction in the stock market, even a small one. Central banks have become the principal buyers of gold in 2019, some 264 metric tons in 2018, and that is increasing sharply. China and Russia have been dominating purchases. Uh, distrust of U.S. economic and monetary policy is the main incentive. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin stole gold's thunder for a while while it was going up, but the Bitcoin crash ended that. Uh, bottom line, you want to buy every substantial dip in gold and precious metals. Uh, and here is gold. And again, got out of gold in 2012 when it peaked. 
1927, and we just stayed out for a really long time. You, know, you never want to short gold because uh, you can always get a geopolitical inc incident overnight, like Iran closing the Straits of Hormuz or something like that, uh, and get an instant overnight $100 uh, move up, and that would kill any short. So we basically play gold from the long side. We're looking for a major recovery in the next year or two in gold. So play it from the long side. Uh, here's the GDX, the miners. Uh, you get a lot more leverage on the gold miners than gold itself. So you should be picking up major gold miners, uh, like Garrett Gold is a good one. Uh, by the way, the gold miners is industry has been consolidated like crazy. Miners all taking over each other. So when you do get a bull market, they'll rise a lot faster because of a shortage of supply. Uh, and how, what do you need to uh, dig gold mines? How about Caterpillar Tractor? So uh, we stayed out uh, until 2016, cut this major move from 50 up to 170, got out for last year. Now we're getting back in on the gold play for Caterpillar. There is one other alternative investment opportunity out there, uh, and that is Tesla. It's basically a sector of one. It's not really a car company. It's not really a tech company. It's both. Tesla's total production will hit 500,000 this year. That's up from 100 when I bought my first car uh, in 2010, I believe it was. They are building a second factory in Shanghai, China. They're adding the Model Y next year. U.S. electric car sales have risen from 0% 10 years ago to 4% of the market today. That'll soar to 100% uh, in 20 years. Eventually, it'll become illegal to not drive an electric car. Uh, many countries and states have banned the internal combustion engine by 2030 or 2040. Tesla's already outselling all premium car brands in the U.S. combined, including Mercedes, BMW, Audi, and Jaguar, and they have a 10-year head, year head start on the technology. So uh, this is going to be this is a potential 10 bagger from current levels. They will eventually become the world's largest car company, but it will take 10 years to get there. Uh, here's the stock. Uh, we got in originally at sixteen and a half dollars. That's after the uh, IPO failed in 2010. Uh, we've been trading it ever since. Our last buy was down here at 140 in 2016. We sold the 394 top, stayed out of it for the last year and a half. Now we're looking to go back in at 240. Uh, what happened is the U.S. government cut its electric car subsidies by 50 percent effective January. One, so what happened is everybody speeded up their purchases for the end of 2018, and that created a vacuum at the beginning of 2019. Once we get through the first quarter, that vacuum will end, and we'll go back to a more normal growth rate in Tesla Model 3 sales. Uh, this is my newest uh, Tesla. It's a Model X high performance with a ludicrous mode, uh, $149,000, and that's without taxes. Uh, the problem with the ludicrous mode is when you go from zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, people tend to get airsick. <laughs> so I carry barf bags I borrow from the airlines uh, in the car in case that happens. Uh, of course, I'm immune because I'm a combat pilot. Uh, combat pilots never get airsick or seasick. Um, but that is an incredible car to have. This is my first car. That's chassis number 125, the 125th Tesla ever made. Uh, and despite all the great design, it's no good if you get hit by a drunk driver on Christmas Eve. It did live up to its reputation as the safest car in the world. It just got up, took a picture of the guy's license number, and sent it to the insurance company. Here you can see the 1,100-pound lithium-ion battery that sits in the back seat. And this is carbon fiber honeycomb in the wheel wells which makes it the world's safest car. So what do we do about all this? Uh, stocks, you want to buy dips. Bonds, sell the, uh, bonds, you want to buy dips. Commodities, buy dips. Energy, buy dips. Currencies, sell the U.S. dollar rallies. Precious metals like gold, you buy the dips. Uh, okay, let me go through a few more questions here. Um, well, here's a good one from Mike. How many more years do you anticipate running your service? Answer, at least 10 more years 
you're going to have to pry my cold, dead hands off my keyboard to get me to quit trading. I just love it so much. And uh, the newsletter and the trailer, it's, that's all stuff I do while I'd be watching the market anyway. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, when is inflation going uh, to jump? Uh, Trung is answering, and probably later in this year with a 3.8% uh, unemployment rate, just a matter of time for wage inflation kicks in, especially at the bottom level. Many cities like Seattle uh, and San Francisco uh, have already uh, brought in a $20 minimum wage to phase in, and a lot of individual companies are doing that too. And that will feed into higher statistics. Uh, Arthur's asking, uh, would you buy gold or silver or platinum? And the answer is I would buy silver. It uh, moves at roughly two and a half times the rate of gold on the upside. Platinum I wouldn't touch because it's just had a uh, major bull run due to a re reorganization of the world's platinum producers and all the juice has gone out of that trade. So uh, let me move on. If you're not up 32.9% in the past 12 months as I am, you are reading the wrong newsletter or following the wrong trade mentoring service. Uh, here is our trailing one year return up 32.9% in one year and we are at an all-time high right now. Uh, here is the long-term return, uh, averaging 34% uh, a year for nine years. And of course, we update these data every day. So this may be a slightly newer chart than the last one I showed you. Uh, if you earn those kind of returns, there are certain things you get to do uh, that other people can't, uh, like take the owner's suite, only $55,000, on the Queen Mary II from New York to Southampton, England. Uh, notice I'm wearing my hat from the Titanic because we sailed directly over the Titanic as part of that cruise. When you get to England, you then get to take the Orient Express to Venice. That is only $9,000 a person, and both the dinners are black ties, so you got to bring two tuxes. Uh, and you never worry about traffic. You just take your own personal helicopter uh, to go wherever you want. This particular time, I'm island hopping in New Zealand, visiting wineries off the coast of Auckland. Here's the really long view and, and what really has me so excited about the markets. Uh, and another reason to keep me trading for the next 10 years, by the way, the 2020, the 2000s and the 210s were the hard decades for making money. Yes, making money now is hard, believe it or not. Uh, the 2020s and the 2030s will be the easy ones as a global demographic wave brings on a new golden age. 85 million millennials will become big spenders over the next 15 years, while 80 million baby boomers are drag on the economy fade from the scene. That will create another economic boom that will last another decade starting in 2021. That's when the demographic surge starts. And this is me watching climbers on the Matterhorn uh, from my chalet in Zermatt. And if you think I'm crazy, this has already happened once in my lifetime. The last time we got a major demographic surge uh, was from 1982 to 2000. Uh, the market went up 20 times in 18 years during that time. Are you ready for a replay? Remember all the Dow 10,000 hats? That's when we got to wear them. Uh, let's see. So where does that take you? Uh, if we go up 20 times from the 2009 bottom in 18 years, that takes to the Dow to 120,000 by 2027. So uh, anything you touch in the 2020s, you're going to look like a genius because uh, everything you touch makes money, and that compares to a current Dow of 26,269 where it is today. So uh, let me show you where we are in the cycle now. You are here right now. This is the 82 to 2000 chart, and what we've done is we've already seen the first 400% gain from 1982 to 1992. What happens next is another 400% gain if history repeats itself. That takes us to 120,000. 
only back then we had the advent of Windows software, PCs, and the internet uh, driving prices. This time there are at least 20 times more technologies contributing to higher stock prices than we had in the, in the 1980s. And I'm talking about artificial intelligence, uh, biotech, social media, and so on. So a lot more reasons for stocks to go up. So that 120,000 target may be a low ball forecast. So who will show you how to play the next 95,000 Dow points? Well, come sit with me, John Thomas, and my Global Trading Dispatch. Discover how you can tap into the top performing trade mentoring service in the industry, up 32.9% a year in volatile markets. Follow my market uh, beating trade alerts and you will rake the profits in. Let a Marine Combat Pilot steer you to big profits. We trade single stocks, options, and ETFs for global equities, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, commodities, precious metals, and real estate. Uh, this is a typical trading history for one month. Uh, you can see we bought the S&P 500, sold short treasuries, bought the Russell 2000, bought Amazon and Apple, bought Biogen, but then stopped out very quickly. We have a very uh, tight stop loss strategy, so we never have to dig out of a big hole, only small ones. After that, we bought Palo Alto Networks, sold sort the Japanese yen, shorted treasuries again, bought the S&P 500 and bought gold. So uh, 11 trade alerts a month and, uh, and that's uh, 11 round trips a month and that's probably a typical uh, trade a rate of trade alerts unless we get a really uh, extreme move in the market. With the China trade war about to end, just a matter of time before tech stocks break out to new all time highs, we're really only about 10% short of new highs for the fangs right now. Watch this space going to melt up into the end of 2019. Get ready to start reeling in those whoppers with Global Trading Dispatch as your guide. And yes, that is a 24 inch trout, which I caught in Pyramid Lake in Nevada. It has the world's largest trout. See, I do do a few retirement type things, mostly on my vacations. Uh, this is how it works. Uh, we identified uh, Micron Technology as a strong candidate uh, for a sharp move up last year, and our algorithm flashed us a buy signal. So we shot out a trade alert, which said buy the Micron Technology uh, at $42.01 or best. Uh, we send these out by text message and trade alert and uh, email, so you get them in five seconds. Portfolio weighting 10%, number of shares for $10,000 exposure, 238 shares. What did Micron do? Well, it shot up as expected. So we decided to take a quick profit just in case there was a double top taking place right here. Uh, and I shot out another trade alert. Uh, we, uh, it says Mad Hedge Technology Letter, uh, Micron Technology Take Profits, sell at 48.58, and on that trade we made $1,566.63. Uh, in only a few days. Why do we take profits? Well, this is what happens. After we sold Micron at 48, it went a little bit higher, double top, and then went all the way down to $25 at one point. So this is a reason to trade in a bull market. Uh, this is a reason why uh, you never got fired for taking a profit. Uh, these are some of our recent uh, uh, strong movers. We recommended NVIDIA at $68. It went up 267%. LAM Research up 77% in 10 months. Uh, Baidu up 2,240% from $12.50. With my global trading service, uh, global trading dispatch service, you get a daily research newsletter. Instant trade alerts sent out at market sweet spots, about 200 a year, and all the reasons to execute them. Live bi-weekly strategy webinars with an interactive Q&A. Uh, special reports on urgent investment topics. Invitations to strategy luncheons around the world. More educational videos and webinars than you can consume in a lifetime. And access to a 12-year database on investment ideas searchable by names uh, and ticker symbols. Yes, if you want to. See our research on Apple, you just put in AAPL uh, in our search box and you get 12 years worth of research on Apple.
I'll even give you the name of a good surfing camp in North Africa, uh, warning, it's a lot harder than it looks. This is why I'm not gonna charge you for this service. I'm not gonna charge you $100,000 a year. That's what I charge my big hedge fund clients and they're happy to pay it because I make them millions of dollars. And I'm not gonna charge you $10,000. Uh, that's uh, what I charge my concierge clients who get my personal cell phone number. <coughs> and I'm not gonna charge you $5,000. That's what I charge my premium options clients. $3,000 is the cheapest price on my website and the lowest I've ever offered. This is the real deal. Creating this product cost me millions of dollars with the best customer service in the industry. Running it cost me millions more. Uh, here's the offer you can't refuse one year for just $1,997. Just click on the chat box on the right. Uh, and that will take you to a dedicated sales page, and that is the only place you can get the 1997 offer. It's a limited time offer. We only take 25 new subscribers at a time, so it's first come, first serve. I can't wait to make you a top drawer trader. Just click on the chat box on the right. Let me make the money for you to pay for your subscription, and 90% of our customers do this with their first trade. Uh, find and exploit the best sweet spots in the market. Just click on the chat box on the right. Here's the offer you can't refuse one year for just $1,997. Now we've got a few testimonials in here and I'm gonna take more questions. So let me take a look at the question box and see a lot has come in. Uh, when was the next bear market? Pear wants to know and the answer is sometime in 2020. Depends on how long we can get away with overheating this economy before inflation kicks in. Gary is asking, uh, should you buy cash rich firms? Uh, and the answer is always yes. Uh, the market places a very high value on cash balances on a balance sheet. And of course, the world's richest company right now is Apple, which is why the stock has just gone up 45% since the beginning of the year. Uh, okay, another question here. Let's just look here. Um, uh, just reading this. Uh, uh, healthcare, uh, somebody's asking about healthcare. One of the best long term plays. However, it's getting unnecessarily beat up now because uh, of an election next year, and everybody loves to beat up on healthcare companies and promise make unrealistic processes, promises on lowering uh, health care costs. Uh, Joe in Detroit, Michigan is asking, I've never done this before, can a beginner start with no previous experience? Absolutely, Joe. Um, bringing beginners into this market for the first time is one of the primary goals of this service. Uh, Joel in New York City wants to know, how often is the newsletter sent out? Joel, it's every day the market is open, about 250 times a year. Uh, okay, another question here. Mary in Kansas City, Missouri, how many trade alerts do you send out? Mary, about 200, depending on what the market is doing. Sometimes we'll send out a bunch in one day and then we'll do none for several weeks. You don't get sweet spots every day of the year. Uh, that picture on the screen, that's me in New Zealand with a couple of real live black swans. Notice I'm keeping my distance because they bite. Black swans that bite, imagine that. Uh, okay, yeah, that's uh, that's how I got my last neck injury, <laughs> riding a mechanical bull. Uh, let me see if there's any more questions here. Uh, Simon is asking, what do you think about Boeing? Absolutely love Boeing. We actually have bought Boeing a couple of times this year after the... Uh, uh, 737 MAX crash, and we think it's just a temporary event giving a, a temporary entry point on the long side for this great company. And as soon as they solve it, which will be in a couple months, they'll get a quick $100 gain in Boeing. So yeah, for sure we're playing Boeing on the long side. Uh, okay, what else do we have here? More questions. Just give me a second to read these. Um, you obviously have enough money. Why are you doing this? Uh, well, teaching people how to make money and secure their financial 
uh, future is the love of my life. When I was on Wall Street, I used to see so many people get ripped off by brokers, it made me sick. It's my chance to uh, level the playing field and, for the regular guy and to give back to society. Uh, George in Austin, Texas wants to know, when does your letter come out every day? Answer, well before the market opening, so you can enter your orders uh, right before the market opening. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, let's see, another question. How would you describe your trading philosophy? Uh, I use fundamentals for my long-term call and technicals for my short-term execution. It's what every long-term professional does. Uh, another question here, do you offer training with a subscription? We include more training than you could use in a lifetime with books, training courses, and videos. Every trailer that goes out includes a link to a video on exactly how to execute that trade in your own online trading platform. Uh, okay, now if you do buy today, I will give you for free a copy of my best-selling book, Stocks to Buy for the Coming Roaring Twenties. Uh, it's in our store now for $49. Uh, if you subscribe today, I'll give it to you for nothing. Sectors and stocks will lead the market for the next 20 years. Warning, some of the stocks have already doubled, so buy it now before they double again. I also will give you an instant trade alert. Uh, you subscribe to the letter, I'll give you a trade alert, which you can in execute this second. Uh, and it has an extremely high probability of success, so you can execute immediately and make some of the most serious money in your life. Cover the cost of your own subscription with this one trade alert that I'm giving you right now. So you basically get our service for free. 90% of these alerts make money. And to give you a further tease, that's the chart of the stock. I took out the prices. Uh, I took out the name. Some of you are in the market every day. Uh, will recognize this immediately, but look at this. Nice double bottom setup, nice support, 200-day moving average. Uh, there is an opportunity to go along this stock, uh, and you can do it in a very low-risk way through the options, but only with the trade alert that you will get the second you buy this newsletter. So here is your free trade alert with this subscription. Here's the offer you can't refuse. Just click on the chat box on the right. Uh, for $1,997. So <clears throat> I'll leave this up for a few minutes and I'll keep answering more questions. <clears throat> uh, what do you, uh, G Geo or George is asking, how do you feel about copper and FCX? I love copper for the short, medium, and long term. We've already done a couple of round trips in FCX this year and we're back down to around, uh, let's see, 10, I think it was down to 1040 this morning. This is actually is quite a good place to enter it right here. Yeah, we're at 11.45. So yeah, we're bullish on Freeport McMorrin. Uh, and again, if you want to get into this in a risk-limited way with high upside leverage, subscribe to our service. We'll tell you exactly how to do it. By the way, you subscribe to our service, you get access to all uh, 1,200 trade alerts that we've issued over the last 12 years. Uh, Benjamin is asking, uh, what about residential real estate? Uh, Benjamin, the elimination of the state and local tax deductions by the tax bill completely killed the residential real estate market. And I expect it to continue to flatline or fall at a fairly slow rate until those deductions come back, which could be another two years. So. There is a structural housing shortage in the United States, so I don't expect any crash in real estate like we had in 2008. However, a lot of the upside has been taken out by the Trump administration. And of course, those uh, most affect the uh, East and West Coast that have the highest uh, taxes paid. <clears throat> um, uh, Cole is asking, is there any consideration towards entering cannabis stocks in either the U.S. or Canada. Uh, I've been avoiding the cannabis stocks after all. How hard is it to buy, uh, to grow a weed? Entry points are zero. And a lot of the listed companies now, they're really marketing companies. They could be marketing toothpaste. Uh, so that's what you're really buying. Uh, 
and it is still illegal at the federal level. So uh, a lot of difficulty to get financing for these companies. Uh, and I think it's just this year's Bitcoin. I'd be the, these if we ever get any kind of market correction or even a recession, perish the thought. Uh, these cannabis stocks will just get absolutely decimated. It'll be Bitcoin uh, 2.0, essentially. Uh, okay, any other questions here? Uh, okay, well, I think that is it for today. I'll leave this page open for a little bit so you get access to the um, uh, link, which you can only get through this webinar. Uh, thanks for attending this today. This is John Thomas, the Mad Hedge Fund Trader, signing off for today. Good luck and good trading.